Hi everyone! Today I will be presenting Create Fluent REST client interface using Delphi REST client components. My name is Cesar Romero, I am Delphi developer for 20 years, Embarcadero MVP and Delphi developer at 3 years Sistemas in Brazil. In today's presentation, I will talk about Delphi REST client components, JSON data objects, Fluent Interface API, Delphi REST client Fluent Interface, and show you some code. Delphi REST client components was introduced in Delphi XE5 at the time it was created using int components. And in X8, we have a new version based on SystemNet HTTP client. Now you can do, we can do HTTP without OpenSSL. It is also based on System Thread, and there is the REST debug tool available, including source code. Check Delft demos and play with Delft debug tool sources so you can learn how to improve your code using REST. JSON data objects. It is a JSON parser that supports Delphi. JSON data objects. It is a JSON parser that supports Delphi 2009 and JSON data objects is a JSON parser that supports Delphi 2009 to Berlin. The author is the great developer Andreas Hausland, and the project is hosted at GitHub. If you don't know JSON data objects, you should check it out. If you don't know JSON data objects, you should check it now. JSON data objects is a great parser. Here are some features of JSON data objects. Fast dual JSON parser for parsing UTF-8 and UTF-16 without conversion. Automatic creation of arrays and objects, easy access mode with implicit operators, compact and formatted output modes, variant support, new can be auto typecast to a value type, progress callback support for loading large JSON strings. How about Fluent Interface API? What the hell is that? According to Wikipedia, Fluent Interface is an implementation of an object-oriented API that aims to provide more readable code, normally implemented using a method cascade or method chaining. Defined through the return value of a called method, it is self-referential, where the new context is equivalent to the last context, terminated through the result of void context. And with all this together, I introduce you Delphi REST Client Fluent Interface. It is just a builder. It is interface based, so you don't have to worry about destroying it after use. Use Delphi REST components and JSON data objects. It aims to be flexible and extensible, very easy to use, open source, and hosted at Bitbucket. I will upload the code after this presentation. Now let's see how the code looks like. You first add the unit to use clause, call REST Builder, ask for new ask for a new request instance, set the resource, call the verb method to execute, and get response content. As you can see, this is what we get. Let's try using Google Chrome to see and compare the result. It is the same to me. Seems to be working.
Now let's play with some real code. I have a simple project. I will be adding the code to you. I have a simple project here and I will be adding the code to show you how to work with Fluent REST client. To start, I will check my IP address using JSON test API. First, we create the REST client builder instance and call the China methods, just like that. We create the builder, create the request, set the resource, call get, and get the response content. Let's see if it works. Yes, great. Uh, but I feel like that's too much code. I will just simplify a little. We can remove this and this and just call REST Builder. Exactly, just like before. I have set the report memory leaks in shutdown, so we can see if it, is there any memory leaks going on. So far, none. Let's call again. Great. Now, another simple example using JSON test API. This is the echo resource that parses the resource pattern and returns it as a JSON. Not too much to say here, it's actually very simple. This is the echo resource that parses the resource parents and returns it at JSON. This is the echo resource that parses the resource parents and returns it as a JSON. Not much to say here, it's actually very simple. Let's run. Okay, it's working. But the resource has all the parameters. What about if you want to set the parameters in runtime, loading from the application configuration or the database? Yes, you can do that too. Now, we will separate the code. It is just like before but now using resource patterns. And we get the same result. Great. Now I will add another example using basic auth authentication. Do you know Delphi Practice Forum? I got this example from Delphi REST client demos. The resource, resource params, login, and password is declared as consts. Just to make the code cleaner. With method, 
with basic out just like that you add with basic out you add the basic authentication to your request Well, it works, but the JSON is it's a mess. Let's format. Let's call again and get it formatted. Great. That's much better. Now, I will call the same method, but get the response as object list. It will be a little different for, but it's just another way to do the same thing. Okay, same call, but now we get content as object list and the object is the forum. Here, all the fields. If we have object list, then we show Great, 46 forums found. Here, all the data extracted from the object list. Isn't that great? And the last example, I just added authentication and the authorization to head a request. This is a REST. Here, this is a private REST service that will retrieve some product information. Not much here. Had the parameters for authorization and authentication. There is no need to be in any particular order. The resource parents is pointing to the API. The resource parents pointed to the product endpoint and passing the product ID. The result is just like before a JSON. Let's see. Wow, that's great, huh? A lot of information here. Well, that is all the code I have to show you now. That's all the code I have to show you, but let's see the Fluent REST client interface code. First, the interface REST client build is very simple. Only two methods to create and retrieve the REST client request instance. And here's all the good stuff. Mostly syntax sugar to customize the request. All the HTTP. All the HTTP verbs with overloads for object parents and the result. And finally, you can get the response. And for fine custom, and for fine tuning customization, you can call REST request that will give you that will give access to Delphi request component instance. And for fine tuning customization you can call 
REST request that will give access to REST request component standard. That's it. Thank you very much. And that's it. Thank you.